Crime continues to be a top issue for voters this fall, so no surprise it's been a key part of campaign ads. Now we've seen continued attacks against Governor Evers, specifically about the work of his parole commission. Political reporter Will Keneally explores some of those claims in this News 3 Now reality check. There are a couple of similar ads focusing on Evers' records on paroles and pardons, but we're going to focus on this ad looking at his record on paroles. It was bought by a PAC affiliated with the Republican Governors Association. The judge called it the most heinous crime he'd ever seen. This is a testimonial from Janine Peters, whose sister Kathleen Boletsky was murdered by her husband in the 1980s. And the killer was sent to jail for life. But Tony Evers' parole commission set him free. This is true. Carl Boletsky was released on parole in 2019 after serving 36 years in prison. So how does parole work in Wisconsin? In 2000, Wisconsin's law changed. Anyone convicted after 2000 is required to serve their full sentence of initial confinement. A judge decides when after that they can be eligible for release on extended supervision. Those convicted before 2000 must meet certain conditions for parole. At minimum, they need to serve at least a quarter of their sentence. And in most cases, they have to be let out after serving two-thirds of their sentence. So that category between one-quarter and two-thirds of their sentence is what's called discretionary parole. And that's the category that Boletsky fell in. He also needed to meet a series of criteria, that he served enough time to warrant the punishment of his sentence, and that he is no longer a threat to the public. He made his case before the state's parole commission, which is appointed by the governor. And that's another criticism from the ad. And they didn't even tell us. This has been a pervasive criticism of the Evers Parole Commission, that they have not notified victims' family or gotten their input as part of the parole process. He has not served enough time. Earlier this year, the family of murder victim Johanna Balsevich directly petitioned the governor, asking him not to let her kill her out on parole. Evers lobbied his parole commission, and the Balsevich parole was eventually rescinded. The governor later asked the chair of his parole commission at the time to resign. Under Evers, hundreds of other violent criminals have been released early. This could use some clarification. As of this September, the Evers Parole Commission has granted more than 400 discretionary paroles to prisoners in Wisconsin. That's a little bit of a faster pace than the Walker administration, who granted more than 600 discretionary paroles in his eight years in office. With this reality check, I'm Will Keneally. And you can see our full series of reality checks online at channel3000.com.